month transformation from this to this. Do you guys remember Stan, the Iron High 2015 Duramac 18 inch lift? He put that truck back to stock, did something special with it, took it to the dealership, traded that thing in, took advantage of, you know, the, the market right now. 2020 Denali HD. I wish he would have joined the AT4 gang but he got a pretty pretty good deal on the on the Denali so yeah, he is he is team Denali now I'm pretty sure those are the AT4 wheels correct me if I'm wrong I don't I don't know if they put those on Denali's previous owner must have either requested the AT4 wheels or bought AT4 wheels or something yeah I'm thinking he might have customized it and just right? had him order them because I know my buddy works at Chevrolet and he tells me all the time they get uh, takeoffs on all the time yeah um, from some trucks when people custom order like wheels and stuff so he might have just ordered like AT4 wheels yeah because I'm pretty sure these are AT4 wheels right yeah I think so yeah that's I, I tried to look them like look them up and the only thing I can find them on is an AT4 on a regular yeah. model. as of right now this truck is bone stock I don't think there's anything done to it nope. not a single thing so this truck is used, it's a 2020. You guys know the market right now and it's really hard to get 2021s, especially brand new trucks. So he had to settle for a truck with 40,000 miles and doesn't even have tint on it. So this truck is stock. Only thing it has is the Gator bed cover. I'm in a rush to get rid of. <laughs> yeah, because he's got a power retracts. Yeah. So. so this is really cool. None of us have it except Stan. Do it. Check this I out. Can do this. I can Boom. check this out. Two kicker. See? Six and a half. I'm just kidding. I have no idea what size these are. I had no idea. They're tiny little speakers. Yeah. They sound pretty good. Only thing from what I hear is that they do lack a little bit of bass. Rock lights. Are we doing color change rock lights? Or are we doing solid white? I'm going to do solid white. Solid white? Yeah. Because well, the good. whole... So the plan for the truck, and hopefully I'll get the rendering up like soon, is the color of the exterior to stick with it because it is so clean and I like it, to go ahead and find somebody to powder coat everything up under the truck, axles and everything that we could possibly touch and keep it that burgundy and chrome under the truck. So to showcase Ooh, that, why would I change the colors? Sick, yeah. yeah, I want to keep it and showcase that color if up under do. the truck. So. All right, man, so we're here with Kevin from BNC Off-Road, um, and he's taking a truck, he's taking my Duramax and getting it ready, getting prepped that suspension for SEMA, the 18-inch suspension. So what are we uh, what are we working on on the, uh, on the Duramax? Well, <laughs> we're going to do everything. We're going we're gonna to do dual shocks, resis, and uh, some uh, Silstein resis, and we're going to build a cradle that's custom, it's one-off. We've only done it once before, and we're going to change yours a little bit, so it's just a little bit different than his. Um, it's it's going to be amazing. It's, it'll uh, you'll be able to put 44s, no issues. Holy crap! Oh my god! <laughs> this thing is huge. Grab the, I can't even grab the handle. Oh my god! Aaron lifts the Gen Y hitch after me. What the? No, oh, what the? Yeah. Uh, Stand next to Max. Yes. So if I do his mirror, I got to get under it. Dang. Yeah. And then. My son, he's like under it. Yeah, you don't have to worry about hitting that, you just walk right under it. Overlays right here. Overlays on that arm right there. I think there's more than that in there. I don't know. They're all in the back seat, like ready for them. So. It actually doesn't look bad with 40s. No, it doesn't. But Not 42s at all. will be. Yeah. Well, and then it'll be sticking out way out. Yeah. Plus it'll be 16 inch, inch plus a 2 inch base. Yeah. Here, so it'll be like 28, 28 by 60. <laughs> so this. Because it feels like, like looking at it, yeah. I mean, it almost. Well, when it was on the stock tires? Yeah. Oh, it looked like it was going to like tip over because they were up underneath top so, like, super tight. so this is a 18 inch lift third coast suspension from bnc off-road so everything is custom custom made the welding looks pretty good and their powder coat's pretty good too it matches the truck really well dirty 
just dirty from traveling. I haven't had a chance to watch it. Wash it. So everything is like literally handmade or custom made. Yeah. So this has never been made. One other truck had a similar size, but I wanted him to customize it 100%. So this was all custom made by him. So he had to actually like kind of figure out an idea of what he wanted to do, then fabricate that idea. Right bend it get it he was struggling last week i think he's probably slept like two hours a night wow. on my truck trying to get it back to me because we still have a lot of stuff to do. oh yeah factory knuckles factory knuckles cool so everything is dropped down so everything up here is factory angle or factory height right that's so angles pretty look cool good. and the truth is like if i wanted to be taller Dude, i could technically up. turn it up a little bit but i, I, I like the yeah. factory i think 18 inches plenty <laughs> yeah yeah, so it's actually closer to 19. Once he was done, it's actually closer to 19. Yeah, that's and then good. not your standard shock hoop. So he's going to send me a new emblem for this. He didn't like that it was so small by comparison to the plate. He's actually going to remake it mm -hmm. and then mail it over to me uh, so that it can fill this gap up. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Need something better than some Those clamps. Clamps, yeah, we need to get something better than that. Yeah, for, or at least powder coat the hose clamp if if you're gonna keep it. You better start doing some renegade Track or course. something. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because uh, apparently we talk too much in the vlogs. Yeah. While Stan's working on disassembling the whole rear end, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the grill, headlights, and bumper. But first, I'm gonna need a stool or something. Cause look, I can't even. Like that, all right, now, how am, I, how am I even supposed to get to the top of the top of the grill? Like, I'm gonna need a ladder. Don't we have a step ladder? I'm not sure, I hope so. I might use that F-250 over there. Park the 250 here and I'm gonna have to stand on it. Oh, there you go. The Mighty Man ladder over here. All right. Removing the grill off on these trucks is fairly simple. Remove the top cover that's sitting over there. It's, they're just all push pins. And then you're gonna have four 10 millimeters sitting right here. One, two, three, four. Undo those. And it really should start popping out, but it's kind of sketch. I don't really like it because I feel like I'm always gonna break the tabs. But other than that, we're ready to pop this out. Got the front grill removed. And to make it a little bit easier for the guys to paint it, we're gonna go ahead and remove the front facing camera for them. And all it is is just two Torx bit holding it in, in which I need to take this one with me and go to Lowe's because I lost one of my screws while I was getting the grill painted. Quick status update, got a lot done so far. So completely disassembled, uh, removed the grill, removed the the housing that's right here. Um, gonna remove headlights, which should be really simple now that everything up front has been removed. Wheel well liners have been removed. Fender flares have been removed. All of that is ready to go. Now we gotta move to the rear, which Stan has removed the rear bumper. And then he is working on removing the whole rear end pretty much. Springs, are we doing the axle? Still doing the axle. Axle's coming out to go for powder coat. Springs are going to powder coat right away. U-bolts. Um, and then these plates, so they were like finishing this thing on the truck and he had to weld these in. Mm -hmm. And so just to make sure everything lined up like it's supposed to. And he made that adjustment. He called me and he was like, can I just send it to you raw? And I was like, yeah, dude, we're already taking the axle off anyway. Yeah, that, this thing's cool. Like this little the bracket. Yeah. yeah. So cool. instead of like doing an insanely large block, yeah, you get a reasonable block and a good drop shackle. You split the difference between the two. Otherwise, this block would have been huge to sit on springs. Right. So it's easier if you just do it between the two of them. I mean, otherwise you would have had to get a whole new leaf pack and on top of that still get some sort of bracket made and get bigger blocks 
I feel like this is probably a really reasonable way to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the fender flares in the back and the wheel aligners. So we'll see you guys in a couple of minutes. Cool. Another update. Rear end is pretty much all disassembled. All the fender flares are off. All the wheel well liners are off. Um, next thing I need to do is remove the headlights. But before I get to that, I need to help Stan completely disassemble the rear end. Well, there she is, rear axle completely removed from this truck, which just got back from Texas yesterday. Yeah, we got a lot to do before SEMA in two weeks. All right, got the headlights out. We are ready to ship these out to Phil. Actually, meet up with Phil. There's a few other things that need to be done. Honestly, honestly, these guys came here at the perfect time. So that axle is heavy as crap. Luckily, we have the whole Gold's Gym here. So. Yeah, we got the whole Gold's Gym here, so ready to go. The Arnold Classic is here. I'm not going to be much of help, but hey, I'm, I'm just going to join the guys, okay? Told you this Day three of this build, removed the front bumper, front end is completely disassembled. Right now Stan is removing the mirrors so we can get that painted and also install boost auto parts, switch back lights. It's also going to be smoked out. And then this morning he popped the um, hood scoop off. The bezel is chrome and that's going to get painted color matched with the truck and I brought go recon tail lights that were on my truck we're gonna put it on Stan's truck because it's gonna look better on his truck than mine also I just kind of prefer the factory style better and I brought 36 premium rock lights also with the premium plus and I'll show you guys those rock lights this thing's heavy yeah that's heavy right yeah. that's, that's the premium I like that no this is the premium plus Jesus Christ <laughs> I guess it fits the truck, right? <laughs> I needed it. oversized rock lights Bro. for my oversized truck. Can't remember how it was my table. Somewhere or another. Tear apart an entire truck. I that's what. It, that's exactly what I was gonna say. I was gonna say, yeah, guys, Stan knows how to take the uh, axle off of the truck, but can't figure out to master the the secrets of a plastic table. There we go. Because you already know the comment sections are gonna be like. I know. This dude can disassemble a truck, but can't open up a table. All right, I've been roasting more on YouTube in the last year of my life. And the honest truth is I'm kind of numb to it at this point. I will say this. I've never removed a set of mirrors and had to reach up to hold the mirrors. It's always been like right here, trying to grab the mirrors. Now I've never had to do that before, <laughs> removing like somebody's mirrors. This is absolutely insane. Like, I think like up here I've done, but like, I'm like, I feel like I'm doing shoulder press. All right, let's 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 use Matt's truck as a comparison. Like this, I can do. This, very reasonable. This, like his camera on the mirror, it, it looks like a house camera, like a ring camera that you put on the roof. So Stan studied on YouTube for hours on how to disassemble these mirrors usually the scariest part is like breaking the glass yeah don't break the top one. Oh, actually don't break the bottom one because the top one i have so an extra <laughs> the bottom one i was told pull it up this way and then just apply even pressure on the back side right here yeah it's just four clips yeah. holding the whole mirror in there you go easy a few hours went by we installed the goat recon tail lights oh yeah those reverse lights are pretty bright too. Really? 
That looks good. Yeah. Damn. That is just three rock lights. Yeah, that's bright, dude. Like super bright. That's awesome. This is Twan, the man, the myth, the legend. Got it all torn apart for us in one day. Yeah. So Not that's... even a day. Would you text me this morning like, hey, I'm gonna get up to you this afternoon? Yeah. So, so nice. he's done marks. So we were like, all right, sure. Twan can do it. Just didn't know he could do it that quick. <laughs> Normally he can, but he knows we're on a time crunch. So, so by the way, we, uh, we're using Stan's wife's Jeep as a tow pick today to come here and pick it up. And then it'll be up to me tomorrow to drop this off at Jimmy's with one of my tow pigs. Come check out Jimmy Rivers. Amazing group. Bro, they got this done in one day. This side, you can actually get to see how nice this coat is. Dude, oh, let me get it with so my good. iPhone. Dude, look at that sparkle. Holy cow. Yeah. Axle tubes like glass. Things. It looks like somebody painted it and did like clear over clear it. Clear and then polished all the clear off. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, this yeah. looks insane. Oh, the leaf springs. Leaf springs are in there. Dude, so, sick. It's like if I touch it, I feel like Machines. it's just wet. This oh my chaser God. Right here. Those are the dust shields. Our leaf springs right here. So if you notice, we don't have enough leaf springs and it's because the rest of them are actually hanging on the rack over here. For they're, It's gonna be a different color. Holy cow, that looks good. Yeah. So, Dang. Yeah, we got the uh, nice and fresh, clean looking like. Are those yours on. too? Yeah, those are going in. Those are grill components from the uh, okay. bumper. I see a license plate piece. That's just just powder coat all that stuff. All right. and that's obviously can't can't do with that. Oh, by the way, my other gym was like right oh, right there. Dude, look at the plate. flake on that thing. Yeah. Holy cow. These are these are hot. So these just just came out of the oven. Like we're literally picking stuff up. It's like yo, I don't. In. I don't know if y'all can see that. Super fun. Dude, that is awesome. Yeah, looks good. I got that blanket back there for the holy shit. Yeah, dude. Bro, that, that looks good as fuck. Isn't that beautiful? It's like oh. For insurance purposes, if Stan messes up my truck. Huh? Said for insurance purposes, if Stan messes up my truck. I take his bed. I think I trust him. I mean, he's got a burgundy bed that I can have if something goes wrong, right? Yeah. Dude, that's perfect. All right. Perfect. We good. Yeah, I bet it was one of those that hit my truck. It had to have been one of those. <laughs> but we've never loaded anything on the bed of my truck like this until like yeah. today. But if you look, it's a full-size pallet. It fits both of those in the wheel. Yeah. So I was like, it has to go in there. Dude, that's perfect. On either side. Perfect, perfectly executed. Apparently the pallet weighs 400 pounds, meaning 
It's 100. You cut right through it? Yeah, I cut right through it. Oh, here it is. Wait, 400, meaning it's 100 per wheel. So if I can lift this, no problem, I'm a strong man, right? <laughs> That's what it means. So that means Stan can curl 100s. So There's what do you no think it is? Freaking way in my world that that's 100 pounds. All right, let me put this down, help him out. <laughs> that's sick. <laughs> Look at that. That's crazy. I actually really like that finish. The brush look. The brush look, yeah. yeah. If you didn't have a Denali, if everything wasn't already chromed out, that brush look would be yeah. awesome. Actually, I wouldn't mind having that brush look on my truck. Swapping over to brushed wheels. Yeah. Keep it, keep everything kind of smoked out, but go brushed wheels. Holy cow. Step right there. <laughs> the rim is so big, it's hitting my truck, just sitting on the ground. Yeah. So yeah, here it is. Dude, that's insane. 24 by 14 yeah. versus 26, 28. 28 16. 28 16s. So that's I can't insane. Get all the way back underneath it because the step right there. Yeah. Won't be able to go back any further, but I mean, I guess if you deduct an extra out of here, I mean, you would be like, yeah. Well, so you'd be a good, let's good check out that. the rim difference, offset difference. Yeah. Barely one iPhone tennis Max. So the biggest iPhone, the lip is barely because that that is about two inch difference from here to here so yeah this is definitely 20 by 16 like it makes sense these are how fresh these are here's a piece of the aluminum from the cutting <laughs> process still <laughs> like they literally shipped directly from the machine shop that was making these there's a few more pieces of it right there where did it ship from california yeah california so they get the blanks in and they send them over uh, to the machine okay. shop with the design so the plan powder coat uh the illusion cherry in the faces and in all these recess points Ooh. And then the back side of the barrel in the, all the back will be Illusion Cherry. And then up here on the TIS Forged will be done in Illusion Cherry as well. And this will all be polished, polished, polished right there. Dude, that's going to look sick. Yeah. It's if we can get it done in the amount of time we have to yeah, do we got. Yeah, we're down to a week and a half now. Yeah. We, we got good news though yesterday, so that was yeah. good. Some so that's the exact there. same rim that I had before. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my, 547? Something like that, yeah. yeah so. Kind of the cool thing about TIS, I think they changed it to where their forged lineup is kind of like custom order. Yeah. Um, also, these, these kind of remind me of the American Force Morph, right. which those are my favorite American Force wheels. Oh, really? I don't like American Forces, but if I had to choose one, like the Morph would be the one I'd buy. Yeah. And that has that design. Yeah. Looks really good. I mean, what do you guys think? It looks pretty good next to my truck. Um, nah, I'm, I'm sticking with Hostel. <laughs> if you're watching this, Hostel. <laughs> I'm staying with Hostel. I can't say anything. I just yeah. Hostel wheels on my truck. I ran Hostels. Yeah. Forever, so. Although, uh, my LOI has Drop Stars, Drop Star Forge, yeah. and it's their sister company, so. You got to keep that because now that's it. Like, Drop Star Forge. Exactly. Push the trucks, right? So that one day is going to be like, yeah, one day. This used to be when they had the lifted exactly. line. Exactly. People are going to be like, yeah, right. They never had a lifted line. They only do drop trucks. Nope. Yep, so I got Drop Star Forged on the LOI with their original logo that kind of looks like the Transformer logo. And now they kind of changed it to where TIS is their lifted brand and Drop Star is their lower brand, which kind of goes along with their name, Drop Star. Well, here it is, freaking all the plastic pieces that got painted. All the mirrors, steps, side steps, butt flap. That's the nose. Yeah, and that's the grill paint match. Dude, that looks all this really stuff good. Really we did a lot of prep work to get this thing looking. Yeah. Factory. Oh. Here stands Denali Grill. So this experience has made me uh, realize I should never buy another Denali or at least another tricoat because paint matching tricoat is very expensive and takes professionals to do it. What did they say? It's almost like double prices to figure this out. Yep. Because at least like my Onyx Black. I can spray at my house and I can get away with it. This, we were gonna try, and then we started like getting into the prices of the paint and the, the amount of prep work and everything that involved. We're like, nope, 
just let the professionals do it. And it's going to SEMA. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we want it to be top notch, top mm-hmm. tier. So that's why, I mean, that's why I came to Rick's, you know, because these guys are literally like the best in the business when it comes to auto repair collision. As a matter of fact, they're going to be at SEMA as well, mm-hmm. but they're going with the Lexus division because they're the authorized guys for Lexus here or, in Augusta. So they're actually going to so SEMA. So that speaks a lot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. They know what it needs to look like. They're gonna actually be there, see it. If Lexus brings all their vehicle here to get it replaced and repaired, that means they're doing a good job. Dang, that's gonna look good. I think that's about as smooth as that could have went. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. That looks good. So, what we did was we requested them to put a strip right here, and then they painted everything outside of it. Yeah, so that, so that way it kind of yeah. gives that, that color match look. Yeah. You know, these don't normally come like that. Mm -hmm. And it's Boost Auto Parts switchback. And here is the axle. I'm guessing there's no fluid in it yet. Oh, it's, full. it's full? It's full. Oh, Twan topped it off with fluid too? Yep. That's that's good service. When are you gonna drop yours off? Heck, <laughs> I'm not doing that too much. <laughs> no. Elite Innovation is putting in that OT hour. The bushings needed to get pressed out for powder coating. Now to put everything back together, we gotta put the bushings back in. We gotta press it in. Mondo has a couple of tools that we can use. So we brought the leaf spring here, put the bushing together, and then we're gonna take it back to Matt's house and finish putting on the rear axle. Oh, it's good. Springs are in, springs are in. Ladies and gentlemen, the rear end is finally assembled and the truck is sitting on its own weight. So it's been, what, two weeks? It's been a week and a half to two weeks since we've seen this truck sitting on its own rear end instead of jack stands. He's probably one of the best in the industry in terms of building headlights. And this is the finished product, color matched red with silver in the middle to match the silver powder coat and the suspension. Originally, Stan was thinking about leaving a chrome, but only dilemma was chrome was gonna peel or chip, right? That was yeah, the issue. He was worried about when he taped it. Yeah, so the chrome was gonna peel and chip, so he said it would be better if we just painted the, everything. So. This is the outcome of custom built headlight by Phil at Fast Headlights. At the moment, we are wiring up all the switchback stuff. Phil actually came up with the boards to do uh, the switchback on these newer trucks. So we'll show you guys how all of that works after we get everything wired up. Wait for it. Here's the bridge. While I was gone, Stan finished the headlight. We put the grill on just to see how it looks. Dang, look at that switchback. Sheesh, do it again. Nice. And it's synced up perfectly with the Boost Auto Parts switchback too. Yeah. That looks really good. Nice. Everything on Stan's truck is color matched red. And then everything on my truck is color matched black. So 
the color match twins. Here. There we go. We've got to do the cab so lights. One more part to do up there with the lights as far as lights go. The uh, cab lights. Can't have yellow cab lights and a bunch of white lights up Exactly. Front, so. Oh, yeah. Money. Because yeah. it's the bolts are right there, right there, right there. Yeah. Super easy. It's probably So we figured while minutes. we were already doing the Starlight Headliner or while we were doing either way, whatever way you want to look at, we, were, we knew we were doing the cab lights for sure. But because we were already dropping the headliner, let's go ahead and do the Starlight Headliner. Yep. Get it out of the way, which was... That was a pain. Do I do that again? Flash the light on here again? Yeah. Through these noodles? Through the noodles. Of course the Asian guy thinks they're noodles. Yeah. Hey, they look like fun noodles. Oh, that looks so cool. This kind of reminds me of like Avatar. Avatar? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What'd you do, 800? 550. Oh, you did 550? Yeah. That doesn't sound too bad, considering... By yourself, it's bad. <laughs> That's true. But this is what the finished product should look like. People call it Starlight. Some people call it Rolls Royce light. First, I wasn't sure if I liked it a lot. Now, like, I want to do it on my truck. My AT4 has black headliner. So I think black headliner will look really good with Starlights. Leave a comment below if you guys think I should do it too. I think we're all going to end up doing it because Mondo's going to do it. Matt might do his. 750, you think. So we got our Sharpies to mark everything. And we're going to use a drill to poke the holes because it works better than ice pick. Mondo's ready to shop at Hollister. Isn't that right with that headlamp? I don't get it. You've never been to Hollister? Yeah. It's like dark as hell in there. Jesus. I oh. thought I was a Mexican. Yeah, it is. <laughs> no, no, no. I've First always. My guy thinks it's a Mexican. Joke. If he yeah. would have said, if he would have said they're a fossil, then yeah. Hey, that? That's where all the Mexicans go. Grill lights. Grill lights. Oh. update i think we've done about what 350 to 400 no we're no no we're six 600 600? yeah yeah because this is the 800 kit so that looks really cool all right so we got all 750 of the starlights finished now what we're working on is the shooting stars It was tight. Yeah. Going in, it's gonna be tighter. That's what she said. All right. Well, here is the finished product. This is set at white. You can do blue, green, red. You know, you can also do like orange. You can see the shooting stars. You can do fade. You can do different patterns. Oh, this one's pretty cool. I like this one. So yeah, this took a good bit of time and a lot of work. But when you're done with it, it looks pretty cool. I think it's got all of us convinced. Um, I think we're all gonna be doing a Starlight Headliner pretty soon after SEMA. The A-Team is here. The truck is sitting on its own weight, wheels and tires. Got the wheel lights mounted. Alex and Mondo did the wheel lights. Mondo is doing cab lights. Good morning, America. We are back at Matt's house. 
today is the last day to get this truck ready before we hit the road for SEMA. So as of right now, um, Stan is putting his drive line back on. Uh, I am just zip tying these rock lights so they don't dangle because we are about to head out and take this truck. Oh yeah, looking good, nice. There she is, first official drive after putting everything back together and just seeing it roll down the driveway for that 0.5 seconds. Boy, that right there just made all the hard work that went in the last couple weeks completely worth it. Okay, so Stan's truck is back from the wrap place. They wrapped his whole truck uh, with TIS logo and chrome splotches. Now, I haven't looked at it yet. It's right here, I'm trying to avoid looking at it. So, here's my genuine reaction. Dang! Dude, now that really like screams SEMA truck. Shit. No YouTube. Holy cow. Yeah, it, it's no it's no YouTube truck. <laughs> no YouTube. That is a SEMA truck. Holy cow, they did a really good job. Right? Yeah, haters. Yeah. Hi haters. Hey, uh you needed to change your Instagram uh handle. I'm not doing it yet. Ironhide LML, you can't have that on a L5P. Hey, I'm gonna start, bro. That's true. See, I'm staying true to my roots. <laughs> Dude, this looks so good. Wow. Wow. All right, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. So I thought it was gonna be chrome, but it's silver, which I like the silver better. This gooseneck trailer that that was purchased for SEMA, not gonna lie, we didn't think it was gonna work. We weren't 100% sure if it was gonna work. But honestly, even on Stan's truck with 16 wides and two inch wheel spacers, it clears on that side. And it clears on this side. So it's a lot wider than I thought. Man, I'm not gonna lie. We didn't think it was gonna fit. <laughs> this is a 40 neck foot a 40 foot gooseneck and each truck's about 20 foot long according to google so we're like uh, that's gonna be tight which it kind of is tight but we had our doubts that it wasn't gonna fit <laughs> and like literally the day we have to leave this, this is when we loaded it up and tested it out so well now it works we've got plenty of room here so it's raining now, but I gotta say, we've been blessed with the weather for the past two weeks where it didn't rain at all, which allowed us to work on this truck and get it all done. So, all right, road to SEMA begins. 